Once upon a time, in a small town called Ravenwood, there lived a young boy named David. He was an ordinary boy with an extraordinary love for horror stories. David's birthday was fast approaching, and he couldn't wait to celebrate it in a way that would send shivers down his spine. David's parents, unaware of his fascination with horror, decided to throw him a surprise birthday party. They invited all of David's friends and decorated the house with colorful balloons and streamers. Little did they know that their innocent intentions would soon take a terrifying turn. As the clock struck midnight on David's birthday, the atmosphere in Ravenwood changed. The once peaceful town became cloaked in darkness, and an eerie silence fell upon the streets. David's friends arrived at his house, unaware of the sinister events that were about to unfold. As the guests gathered in the living room, David's parents brought out a large birthday cake adorned with candles. The room was filled with laughter and joy, but David couldn't help but feel a strange presence lurking in the shadows. Suddenly, the lights flickered and a cold breeze swept through the room, causing everyone to shiver. David's best friend, Sarah, noticed his unease and whispered, Are you okay, David? David nodded, trying to shake off his fear. I'm fine, Sarah. Just excited for my birthday. But deep down, David knew something was wrong. He excused himself from the party and went upstairs to his room hoping to find solace in his horror novels. As he opened the door, he was greeted by a chilling sight. The walls were covered in eerie drawings, depicting scenes from his favorite horror stories. David's heart raced as he realized that his love for horror had somehow come to life. Terrified, David rushed back downstairs to warn his friends and family. But when he reached the living room, he found it empty. The once lively party had vanished, leaving no trace behind. Panic consumed him as he searched the house, calling out for his loved ones, but there was no response. Suddenly, a voice echoed through the house, sending shivers down David's spine. Happy birthday, David, it, it whispered, its tone filled with malice. David's heart pounded in his chest as he followed the voice to the basement. The door creaked open, revealing a dark, foreboding staircase. With trembling steps, he descended into the abyss, his fear growing with each passing moment. In the depths of the basement, David discovered a hidden room. It was filled with theory artifacts and ancient books, each containing a story more terrifying than the last. As he read through the pages, he realized that his love for horror had awakened a malevolent force, eager to claim his soul on his birthday. Determined to break free from this nightmare, David found the spell hidden within one of the books. With trembling hands, he recited the incantation, hoping to banish the darkness that had consumed his birthday. As the final words, left his lips, the room shook violently, and a blinding light filled the basement. When David opened his eyes, he found himself back in the living room, surrounded by his friends and family, who were all safe and sound. Relief washed over him as he realized that he had defeated the malevolent force that had plagued his birthday. From that day forward, David's love for horror stories took on a new meaning. He understood the power they held, and the importance of respecting their boundaries. And so, David's birthday became a cautionary tale in Ravenwood, reminding everyone that even the darkest of passions can have unforeseen consequences.